Welcome to Shine Views today, and um, I have a very special thing I am reviewing. I have an iPhone 6. Not the 6 Plus, just the 6. Do you see the... Can you see the reflection of my light over there? Probably. But yeah. So today I'll be reviewing the iPhone 6. So I'm just going to get up behind the camera to like show you a little bit of it. So... Uh, like that's the, the iPhone. Well, you know what I'm gonna do real quick. I am gonna take this out of its case because that would probably be better to show you guys a little bit of how it works, sort of. But no, just if I can get the case off. Nerf. Nerf. Okay. Well, I am going to cut this part out. All right. So, after much fiddling, I still couldn't get the case off because I'm stupid. So, I'm just going to um, show you a little bit of the new physical features. Like, there is obviously a better screen, which you probably can't see from this. And on the back, the camera sort of, like, wait, let me get up close to show you this. Up close and personal with Sean. Like, the camera kind of, alright, well, it's not going to focus. But the camera, like, kind of protrudes out. Shows weep a little bit. And so that's kind of new. It has a great camera, if you've seen all of those shot with iPhone 6 billboards, then you know what I mean. The biggest thing is the power buttons on the side, which is incredibly annoying. But also, let me just give you a little size comparison of the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. So this is the 6, this is the 6 Plus. A little bit bigger. Let's turn this one on and see. Ah, uh, it's, it's 1220. And does this one up? They're sunk. And so, like, let me just put this one on top. So the iPhone 6, 6 Plus is just a little bit bigger. Alright, well, if you haven't noticed, this it was an iPad Mini, not an iPhone 6 Plus. I'm just making fun of it. But yeah, so the iPhone, this is on the power button's on the side volume on here and it has great slow motion now like it used to just be 120p but now it can be 240 also but if you've noticed slow motion makes things darker like video video and then slow mo but it it's really a lot less choppy do you see that like woo 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 compared to and then yeah so um but then so that's 120 but then if you tap to go to 240 it's significantly darker as you see but it has super crisp video I'm so sorry this isn't fo focusing but it is amazing video the way they do it Alright, wait, let me take a selfie with you guys. Ha ha. Alright, here, smile. Now we always have a selfie to remember. That's fun. I'll send it to you. Just kidding, I don't know you. But, um, and then it also has time lapse. Oh my gosh, the time lapse is very choppy. See that? Like... How choppy that is. It's awful. But yeah. So that's basically the camera. And then it has. Um, it has a special app for the iWatch. To sync the Apple Watch. Apple Watch. I'm sorry. But um, yeah. So that's the special Apple Watch app. That it forces you to download. When you get 8.2 on phones. But it really doesn't do anything. Except tell you about the Apple Watch. And let you pair it. So yeah. And then it has um, tips like every, iOS 8. It really doesn't have that many, but ooh, Apple Pay. That's good. Let me see how I get into that. Apple Pay. That's not something. But Apple Pay, um, I'm not even sure how to access that. I think that in Passbook, maybe. 
Let me check. Search for... Wait, is there not a passbook? Let me check settings real quick. Oh my gosh, this is frustrating. I thought Apple Pay was like a thing. Ah, passbook and Apple Pay. So yeah, it's in here. But yeah, so like with passbook, if you get somewhere where you open up your credit card and you touch it to the thing. Yeah. So, that's kind of weird and cool. And there are lots of other features of this. It is an amazing nice phone. I see they went back to the curved design instead of like the box design. And it's really not that much bigger than the iPhone 5S. And the 6 Plus is a little bit bigger. The 6 Plus just isn't practical. Let's face it. It won't work. I'm not gonna. But, um, yeah, if you want to get one, I'd recommend the 6. And they're a little bit more expensive. I forget how much they are. I don't know. And, yeah. And also, if you saw my new channel art, that means new videos every week. The reason this is on a Sunday is because... I'm not doing Fridays anymore, I'm just doing weeks, so it's either on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday the video will come out on the weekend. Um, so, yeah. And then also, if you want to learn how to use the iPhone and, like, a whole bunch of other Apple and Windows stuff, like Word or iMovie or something, you go to this website, lynda.com, I'll have a link in the description, that they can teach you anything. Like, for example, um, go, like... The Game Theorist channel, if you know them, they've used Linda, and you see how far they've gone with their stuff. So it's a really good, it's a really good tool to help learn. Um, I forget the subscription prices, but it's like monthly. I think the cheapest might be like twenty-five a month. But you can access like a whole bunch of different classes, get a one-week free trial first or thirty days. I still don't know all the info, but it's really, it's really good. Oh, and don't tell anybody I said this, but if you get a subscription, I get a commission. Alright, yeah. But yeah, the link is down below, and I hope you enjoyed this, Sean Views. And I would definitely recommend this, like 4.5 out of 5. It is, it is a great phone. Alright, bye. Bye, guys.